The foundation that experts recommend for dry, sensitive, mature skin. I'm Laura Ray. I was thrilled when this foundation came out. It's the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin, that doesn't mean this isn't for you. Foundations like this are great for mature skin because so many will aggravate the skin or are not made for drier, mature skin. So this formula to me works for everyone. Now, one of my favorite foundations of all time is the MAC Face and Potty. I wear this so often because it provides coverage, it's buildable, it's thin, it looks natural on the skin. It doesn't get into my fine lines and wrinkles, so it's pretty much, for me, the perfect foundation. Well, this is the closest the drugstores ever come to that. So today I want to show you this on my skin as I apply. Now I bought light medium. I felt like that was the closest. The only thing I don't like about this is the shade range. It's not great, but uh, I do love the formula. It comes in a dropper. So I'm just going to put some out on the glass palette and then I'm going to pounce my uh, Delium double dome brush into it. Get some on the brush. And then I'm going to start here. This is where I need the most coverage, right around the cheek area, just sort of pouncing it in. Now, again, what I like with this foundation is it's so buildable. And sheer, I can bring it up in the under eye area, which many foundations, I could not do that. You can see, you can still see some of my discoloration I have in my skin right now due to the weather. The weather here has been very um, out of sync. We have a hot day, we have a cold day, and it definitely has had an effect on my skin. What I'm gonna do is do half of my face so you can really see the difference between the two sides. Now again, I have fine lines and wrinkles. I'm getting close to uh, 59 years old, so uh, I have things every 59 year old or 58 year old does, but this foundation does not get into that. I have so many baby hairs. My hair's growing like crazy from the Vegamore. Okay, get around my mouth. That's another area that is high maintenance is we tend to get little fine lip lines around the mouth. I don't use a straw, I've never smoked. So it's just the aging process but this does not collect in those lines. There we go. Almost done, I'm gonna bring it down to the neck. I love that this looks natural on the neck too. I do bring my makeup down onto my neck and blend with my chest. I go around the brows a little bit more. And I think I need a tiny bit more. Now I could always go in with a little concealer if I felt anything was still showing through that I didn't want to show through. I'm going to switch brushes. I love this brush from Huda. I bought it at Thanksgiving time. It's made for concealer. It's very dense, but um, really blends out the concealer. I like to use it in the under eye area to blend my foundation better. All right, I think I'm done with this side. This is great for around the mouth too, buffing out around the lip lines. I think I could use a little concealer there or a little more product. I'm gonna put a little on the Huda, maybe get a little better coverage there. This is beautiful. I would wear this to work. I'd wear it anytime, but this is great for just looking natural at work. All right, there you go. There's half of my face with the Neutrogena and half bare skin. Of course, I have my eye makeup on and lips. I'm about to leave for work, so I'm actually doing my makeup for work. So there you go. But I do want to show the rest of my face and then my cheek products that I feel are great for mature, dry skin and tell you about what I have on my lips that feels amazing. What I love about this foundation is just like the MAC face and body, if you find you have an area that needs more coverage, you can layer it. You don't have to worry that it's gonna look cakey at all because this is so thin. 
And of course, I could uh, go over this with powder to sort of even make it look a little more smooth. You wouldn't have to use powder, but I'm going to use powder when I'm all done. But I think I got the level of coverage I was looking for today for work. I want to use my half cake. This is the Starbright. Uh, this is actually like a Becca liquid. You know, the Becca highlighter that they have. Well, this is even better, in my opinion, for mature dry skin because it's a liquid. It's thinner. And it gives that same level of brightness. I showed it recently in a video. Boy, does it blend easier. I've always had trouble blending the Becca because it's just a little too thick for my skin. But you can go in like this. This is the one they have. They have several shades. I've actually ordered a couple more to try. This is more of a pink base to it. But I love how it blends right with the Neutrogena. It looks like it's the same product. You can't see any lines where I start one product or end another. So I think that's really pretty and really adds a lot of brightness to my under eye area. This is such a fun blush. I'm trying it for the first time. I bought several of these shades from Moira, but I've never tried this one before. So it's I Miss You. I thought this was such a beautiful sort of a Barbie pink. And it matched what I have on my lips so well too. I was inspired to buy this because of the Dior back, uh, Backstage Blush. This seems like sort of a cream version of that, so I wanted to try it out, and I think it's beautiful. Some of you, I believe, had recommended this shade when you saw me talk about other shades. Oh, I think that gives a lot of brightness to the face. Let's talk about my lips. This is sort of the same shade, my lip product, as the Moira. This is the Dr. Pawpaw, but it's in the shade Hot Pink. I already put it on my lips. It feels so amazing. It's not thick and goopy, yet it gives beautiful hydration. It has a slanted tip on it, so you can apply directly from the tube if you'd like. I like these silicone brushes that I've been using. You put them on like this so you have a long handle. I'm going to try using that with this. Just put a little bit on the applicator just so you can see the product a little better. I put it on quite a while ago. There we go. I love using these so much better than my finger. You can just wipe them off when you're done. Oh, I really like that. So that coordinates so well with that Moira, the two together. You can really see how much, how similar the shades are. I'm going in with my Wayne Goss powder. I'm just going to sort of brush on a little bit just to take off some shine. I love this powder. I talked about it in a video that really when you look at the amount of product you get, you're pretty much paying a drugstore price for this powder. It's beautiful. I just love it. It's so thin and great for dry skin. This is not going to dry your skin out. You're not going to get any cakiness. It's just a beautiful product. I think Wayne really created it with a mature woman in mind. So this is my final look. I love this. I get dry skin off and on. Normally I have combo skin with an oily T-zone, but when the weather changes or if I change skincare products, sometimes I do end up with patches that are dry. So I think this is wonderful. It's very hydrating. And it's the closest I've ever come to MAC Face and Body. I really can almost not tell them apart. I love how buildable they are. Let me know what you use on your dry mature skin. If you don't have dry skin, just let us know what foundation you really like that maybe gives you that natural coverage and is buildable. All of the products I used today are linked in the description beneath the video. If you just hit the more button, they're all listed there. Thank you for shopping those links and supporting my channel. I love you all so much. I hope you have a blessed week and I'll see you soon.